Hello everyone and welcome to the next in our series of Daily Origami for YouTube. Today we're going to continue with our theme of looking at some traditional projects and we're going to make a, a church or a castle kind of design and um, for this particular origami you just need one piece of square paper. I'm going to be using uh, standard paper which is 15 by 15 centimeters. I'll let you guys know the dimensions when we're finished so that you can kind of know if you're putting stuff together for a project or something you'll know the size to use. Uh, this is a really common origami. A lot of kids, especially girls, like to make it because they like to use it when they're pretending to make it like a castle kind of design. So uh, it has a lot of purposes that way, I think. What we're going to do is start here actually with our um, water bomb base. And so um, with my color side facing down, I can just create my diagonal creases by folding in half here to make a big triangle. Kind of just start right there from the tip right down straight across and then smooth out to the edges. Do that both ways. Then with the color side facing up, go ahead and fold in half both horizontally and vertically. Once you've finished folding those, go ahead and look at the color side and find the mountain creases that we made diagonally. Hold on to two opposite sides and just kind of pinch and shimmy things around until you can get stuff tucked away to create a nice little triangle here. Smooth out your edges. Then with each of these little flaps, pull them straight up to the tip without causing too much strain down here at the bottom, of course. Try to keep everything lined up with the center. Do the same thing with this side too. And then go ahead and flip it over and do the same thing going on the back side as well. So we've got those open flaps on the top there. Then I'm going to take and open each of these little pockets that you see and kind of bring them down and put pressure on this edge to kind of line up with the edge that you see underneath here. So I'm bringing this tip right down to here, smoosh it down and make a nice big square shape. The big diagonal crease that goes right through the middle. I'll do the same thing on this side too. And then I'll do the same thing on the back as well. So once you've got all four of those completed, then I want to take each of these uh, side flaps and fold them towards the center, but I want to fold them backwards this way. So the easiest way to do that is to take this left flap and fold over to the right, and then take that edge there and fold it into the center. So we're essentially folding and tucking that side back. Take everything and return it to the left side so that we've got that part now tucked away behind into the center. I could do the same thing with the right, just fold it over to the left first, then take that edge, fold it into the center. A lot of paper, so make sure you make a good crease, and then just return that right back out. Turn it over, do the same thing on this side too. You don't need to fold exactly on the center, you want to give yourself a little room because you do need to fold everything back out, so it's better to be just a tad bit shy than to be exactly right on the center there. So you should now have a more narrow kind of design here. Then I'm going to take each of these sides that you see here, these pockets, and they're rectangular. I'm going to open them up and pull them over to the side. And as I do this, then I can go ahead and smoosh down on this edge right along this uh, side that you see here so that it opens out into a nice big triangle, like so. I'll do the same thing on this side too. Then flip it over and do the same thing on the back. Just popping it open and smushing it down. And on the other side as well. Now if you wanted to, you can leave it just like this. Or you could take 
this little flap that you see here and fold it up. And that's what really gives it more of like a, a church or a castle kind of feel there with the different spires there. And then you can do the same thing on the other side as well. And if you wanted to, you could make a couple of extras and put the two together and, and attach them if you wanted to as well. But this can kind of give you your basic little church. If you put just a little uh, cross at the top, it looks really nice. Um, I've done that for some nativity scenes before. Or you can leave it, like I said, as a castle um, and put like a cool little, you know, arched window up there or something. But um, that should give you the finished little project. I'll tell you guys the dimensions of this really quick. In terms of height, whoops. It's seven and a half by seven and a half. It's square in shape, so seven and a half centimeters tall and wide. Uh, so if you're doing this for, you know, um, Easter cards or something like that, or uh, any kind of thing, you'll know the dimensions for that. But that is our finished project for today. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.